Tonight, a billionaire who wants to challenge you. He says it's time to rethink automatically heading off after high school to those wildly expensive four-year college educations. He asks, what if American companies gave kids with big ideas the money to try those big ideas first? And in fact, he's putting his own money where his provocative beliefs are. And here's Lindsay Davis. Peter Thiel made billions co-founding PayPal and investing in Facebook. Now he wants Americans to think twice before going to college mindlessly. Learning is good. Um, credentialing and debt is very bad. Uh, it's quite possible for someone to go to a top tier uh, uh, private school and end up with a quarter million in debt. If you have a great idea now, college can wait. Facebook was started in 2004. If all the people involved had finished their college education, it would have been too late for that business. Teal is backing the first scholarship aimed at college-age students that requires them not to go to college, at least not right now. It's a $100,000 grant. People can pursue anything they would like to. That's why Jim Danielson is pulling the plug on Purdue. No engine at all, doesn't use gas at all. It's all electricity. He started tinkering right, with this old Porsche in high school and managed to turn it into a fully electric car, something he learned to do on the internet for free. The price of education on a college level has gone up by a factor of more than 10 since 1980. But isn't the payout later, isn't it a long-term investment? The typical person who's graduated from college is likely to make two times more over their lifetime than the person who just has a high school diploma. Doesn't that say something's gone wrong with our society that it's become so critical to get these credentials? The typical college graduate leaves school $24,000 in the hole, and student loan debt is expected to surpass the trillion dollar mark this year. That's more than credit card debt. You get a payoff of about 10% a year. So if you invest, let's say, $100,000 in a college education, that person on average gets $10,000 more a year, which is a huge payoff. Eden Full says her payoff is now, and college would only get in the way of patenting her solar panels. Who knows, someone else might have done it, or the technology will be outdated. Jim worries about that too. If I passed up this opportunity and waited till I finished my college degree, a lot could be changed. So what is the world he envisions? You know, he envisions this world where schools would encourage students to think long and hard about what the right option is for them and not to assume that college is the only option. So stop the automatic reflex thinking. Exactly. Maybe we should all change. Thank you, Lindsay.